Your 4th of July cookout can go better, thanks to Myron and Mixon. He's a three-time world barbecue champion. The chef's new book is called Everyday Barbecue at Home with America's Favorite Pit Master. That would be you, Myron Mixon, who they call you the winningest man in barbecue. And this is what you say about barbecue. It is not not special occasion food. It's everyday food. Doesn't take all day to cook. And it sure doesn't have to be complicated. Do you really believe that anybody can do this? Anybody can do this. And, Why? And I think a lot of people get intimidated by barbecuing because let's just say the average grate or average grill is 12 inches by 24 inches. And they get intimidated because there's actually fire or flame beneath it. And the reason they get intimidated, they don't want to burn anything up because you really see that flame there. Well, you might have 30 bucks in meat or whatever you're cooking there on the grill. So what if you burn it up? <laughs> 30 bucks, <laughs> trash it, start over. That kind of guy, isn't it, Myron? Yeah. Well, I think you can go buy the recipe a little closer and make it perfect next time. But don't see, you're not going to end the world by burning up whatever you got on the grill. But let's try and avoid the lost 30 bucks and burning up the meat. Yes. Um, first step, what do you need to do to your grill to get it ready? Well, if you buy a brand new grill, or if you got a grill you just recleaned, you need to season it again. And taking something like some of your spray, uh, canola oil spray, right? Canola oil spray, or taking some oil on a rag, cooking oil, and wiping down the racks before you light the grill back off. Are men, do you think, better barbecuers, or do they just think they're better barbecuers? I think men think they are because yeah. the simple fact is it's a man's world out there on the grill. Been so up till now recently. I mean, you got a lot of great. Um, female cooks out there, especially in the barbecue world coming along. Mm -hmm. And but men still think they own the backyard. You know, they they're the kings of the uh, cul de sac. Okay. Okay. Yes, what so, happens to them at the grill, Myron? Really, what happens? Well you put a man in fire testosterone. Together, yeah, that's exactly right. They are the king. They are macho man then, buddy. Because I may not just burn up what's here, I may burn the house down too. <laughs> but is there a different go ahead. No, no, I'm not no, really. Yeah. No. Oh. Okay. Is there a difference in cooking steak versus chicken versus fish? Yeah, I mean, steak is a high, hot heat. You want yeah. something like there 500 degrees, sear it off quick, a couple minutes on each side, keeping it rare to medium rare. Fish needs to be a lower temp because yeah. really all you're trying to do with fish is infu infuse smoke to it. You're really not trying to get a sear to it. So you last, you, what, a minute or two? Yeah, fish doesn't take very long. It's a very light. About chicken. Chicken is something you need to cook at a lower temp, somewhere around 225, 250, but you need to cook mm -hmm. with a meat probe. You need to cook it by the internal temperature of it to make sure you have oh. it done. Num the, number one grilling mistake, I think, is putting the barbecue sauce on before on the chicken before you grill it, right? Exactly Explain right, because why. all barbecue sauces, I don't care whose it is, it's got sugar in it, right. and it will caramelize, and then it will burn if you put it on too fast. Right, so the key is cook the chicken first, put the barbecue sauce on At the very on end. end. The I'm very just end. guessing oh. on the accent, because you, you sound like you're from upstate Washington. <laughs> <laughs> but do you, Southern Manhattan. Massachusetts. <laughs> Southern, Southern Manhattan. Southern Manhattan. <laughs> do you think different regions cook better barbecue? <laughs> oh, you naturally want me to say Georgia cooks the best barbecue. Well, you from I'm Georgia. Man. North yeah. Carolina. But, Come on, Myron, North but, Carolina. But the thing about it is people move around so much now. And, I mean, people from California move to Atlanta and mm -hmm. Atlanta to New York. They bring a lot of different variations of barbecue where they go. And it's been blended together so well that barbecue is ever evolving. And, and to me, there's lots of great barbecue everywhere in this country. It's not just uh, isolated to Memphis or Kansas City. There's great barbecue everywhere. What's so what's the, what's the biggest no, no, no in barbecuing? The biggest no-no in barbecue, I'm fixing to tell you something that relates directly to the 4th of July. All right. Okay. The biggest no-no in barbecue, it's like on Super Bowl, the week before Super Bowl, every man runs out and buys a brand new big TV screen. <laughs> well, that's pretty easy. You sit back and all remotes work the same. <laughs> Guys and gals wait till like today, tomorrow being the 4th, and we're going to yeah. buy a brand new smoker, put it all together, never all cooked right. on it, have all our friends and family over, and we're going to impress these people. For the yeah, first right. time. For the first time, and that's, uh, that's, uh, uh, that's going to be big and it's going to be a mess. It's what it's going to be a hot mess and they're going to wind up burning up stuff because they don't know their piece of equipment. Always practice on your piece of equipment or your smoker. Yeah. For my grilling tips I go to Jeff Tracy. <laughs> That's known as my husband. He's a, he a chef. What's the best meal you've ever had or the best barbecue you've ever had? Best barbecue I ever had. <clears throat> Outside of your own. In North Carolina, maybe 19. <laughs> nope. My dad, Jack Mixon. Oh, there you go. Oh, when yeah. I was probably 14 years old, oh. and uh, he cooked whole hams and cooked ribs. It's right. probably the best part. But now remember, and it was cooked Carolina style. Now, yeah. direct heat, shovel in the you coals, did, exactly. the vinegar mop, and that was the best barbecue I remember. Mm -hmm. yeah. I love that you still remember that all those years later that your dad did. I remember that. the first time my dad ever let me. He taught me how to barbecue. Yeah. The first yeah. time he ever 
let me mm -hmm. grill or barbecue anything was when I was about 10 years old and he let me cook the T-bone steaks over charcoal. And I thought I did such a great, and I did do a great job for his taste because he liked his T-bone steaks burnt to a fairly well. He didn't want them nowhere juicy. Mm. That's what my dad liked them. <laughs> so I did them perfect. You know. Where well, are you going to be tomorrow, my, Marvin? Because I'm looking for a place to go. Where am I going to be? <laughs> yeah. Be are you going to be in the tri-state area? I'll be at Union Beach today, okay. matter of fact. All right, well, Marvin. Thank you so much. Good Thank you, Marvin. Great tips and a reminder that there are great memories made yeah. on 4th exactly. of July. That's